Hey everyone, so I was watching this video again of Steven Crowder with Joe Rogan and they were discussing marijuana and I have a few criticisms of Steven Crowder, although I do want to say this is not a defense of Joe Rogan in this video. Rogan is obviously very passionate about, about marijuana, but he just comes on way too strong for me on this one. Many times throughout this video, despite me agreeing with Joe Rogan and disagreeing with Crowder, Crowder was relatively calm and composed and Joe Rogan was just a bit too animated at certain points. And if you watch the video you would know what I mean so I just want to be clear this is not a defense of Joe Rogan by any stretch of the imagination here but anyway now there is really just two main things I want to try and address about what Crowder was saying and that was his statement that he does not care about marijuana one way or the other and he doesn't like to talk about it that much he doesn't seem to care if it's legal or not or if people smoke it or not now I would love for Steven Crowder to watch this video because I'd be interested in his reaction unfortunately I'm self-aware enough to know that he'll never see this due to the small size of this channel but oh well no big deal now like I said he says he doesn't care if people smoke marijuana or not and that's actually the entire point of why people like myself care so much about the marijuana issue I don't smoke marijuana, I don't use marijuana, I'm never around it, and I don't care about it either as far as my own personal life goes. I used to smoke it all the time, I haven't in years, and maybe someday I'll start using it again, but for now it's just a non-issue in my life, just like it is for Steven Crowder. But here's the thing, when Steven Crowder says that he doesn't care if people smoke it or not, that's actually a really good reason to be motivated to talk about why it should be legal. If you can take such a mundane and banal attitude towards marijuana, that is a really good reason to fiercely oppose people being locked up in a jail cell over it. If marijuana is so trivial, then you should be extremely dismayed with the government ruining people's lives over it, depending on the state they're in, of course. But I'll give you an example. Much like how Crowder feels about marijuana, I feel the same way about water chestnuts. I hate the things and I want no part of them. However, if water chestnuts were made illegal and people were thrown into cages because of them, you wouldn't be able to shut me up about water chestnuts and how they should be legalized. It's pretty much as simple as that. The long and short of it is this. As much as Crowder seems to treat marijuana as a negligible thing, that is all the reason to oppose the government ruining people's lives over it as if it was some sort of monster monstrosity that it could bring doom to our nation. Another thing I want to point out as far as the marijuana issue is concerned is Crowder's Change My Mind segments, which I love by the way. I think they're great and I agree with a very large percentage of what Crowder says in these. Now one Change My Mind video he does is about hate speech and he's having conversations with students about laws forbidding hateful speech saying that he disagrees that any law should be passed forbidding racist or hateful speech. To this, I agree with Crowder completely. White supremacists, as dumb as I and Steven Crowder think they are, they should have a right to express their dumb opinions and should not have to fear jail for being an ignorant person. But here's an important little observation, and it has to do with marijuana, trust me. During the Change My Mind videos, Steven Crowder is fervently and correctly defending the rights of racist people who he has nothing to do with. He doesn't believe what they believe, he would never say what they say, and he doesn't think how they think, yet he justifiably defends their right to hold these ridiculous views, which again, I think Steven Crowder is correct in doing that. But he just needs to apply that line of logic to marijuana users. He should still defend marijuana users as fervently as he, de as he defends racist people's right to speak their racist views, despite the fact that he has nothing to do with them, just like he has nothing to do with marijuana itself. Right, so in much the same way he has nothing to do with racist rhetoric that he defends in terms of legality, he should also defend marijuana users despite the fact that he has made significantly different lifestyle choices than them. The vast majority of marijuana users, by the way, are just people who come home from work to smoke a joint to go to sleep. They're not the stereotypical caricature that rips bong hits every day at 1 p.m. when they finally wake up. So why not speak out against heinously unjust laws that throw those good people into jail cells over a plant if you are also going to defend racist people's right to say vitriolic things? Okay, so racist people and marijuana users. Steven Crowder has nothing to do with either of those groups, yet he defends the racist ones, and to the marijuana users he says, well I have nothing to do with 
with them, so I don't want to defend them. I think that's a little disingenuous, to say the least. But anyway, I wish there was a way I could get Steven Crowder to hear this. Like I said, I'd be interested in what he thinks, but I know that that is likely impossible. <laughs> but that's all for now. Please like and subscribe and all that stuff later on.